Hi guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. This is Epsilon, and today we're finally <coughs> moving on with the main story. Just for a little bit, though, just to, to break up the monotony of continuously getting extra characters. So let's just head to Egros Castle. It's Chocoba. No guards. Passing strange. Zalbag's mount. mount. Now, to get inside... It's not ominous at all. Okay, so we have to bring Ramza for this battle. Uh, we're gonna bring Reyes. Where is Reyes? There she is. We're gonna bring Reyes, because you all haven't seen her in battle as a dragonkin, as opposed to a dragon. So we're gonna bring her so she can get some, uh, some experience. We're gonna bring Mustadio as a healer. Two more people. Let's bring... Let's bring Q as a black mage for... Back, back support, and we're gonna need a physical fighter. Because Rums is. None of these people are physical fighters, so we're gonna bring Agrius, because I feel we haven't brought her in a while. So. Let's go! Let's do this! Egros Castle Keep. Have you taken leave of your senses, Zalbag? This is madness! After what you've done, you think yourself fit to lead our house? That business with the Duke? Larg was long dead ere my dagger found its mark. Thank, brother, he was a weak man who relied on others to fight where he could not. More fool he for starting a war he could not stomach. Our liege lord's murder murders bothers me not half so much as our father's! How could you dirty your hands with his blood? What manner of son are you? I am my father's son. I know not of his murder. Duke Larg's dying words. I could scarce believe my ears, but there was no mistaking what he said. Why did you kill him, Dysodark? Why? Lord Dysodark. Zabag is taken with some madness. Seize him! Lord Brother! Stand your ground, Zalbag! Objective! Defeat Dysodark! <laughs> Everybody's like this intense stare and then they just start walking. <laughs> so, let's take a look at the battlefield. Maybe I should have brought Mirren for this. He's a guest. We can't rob him anyway, so whatever. What is Dysodarg holding? Defender? Eh. Nothing really worth, worth stealing. How about his... his guards? No. Diamond Sword would be nice, but it's not rare or anything. Diamond Sword, but he's double... he's dual wielding. He's wearing crap armor for a dual wielding knight, but he's dual wielding. He's dangerous. No, no, and let's turn it and see what the last guy has. Uh, Ice Brand. Protectoring. <laughs> lava walking! He has lava walking! Because <laughs> what not? Sure. You can walk on lava, that's fine. It's not weird. Two, okay. I think we can get close enough to attack. One of Dysodarg's knights? Oops. Up here. Yeah, there we go. Ah, 44% chance. Still hit. That's fine. So the problem with Reyes a little is that she's super slow. And her attacks... Oh, what am I saying? Her dragon abilities are kind of expensive, so I still only have the three basic ones. Uh, and we'll wait. But she'll be learning more now that she's human. 
Okay, and I need to get Q to cast Golem. Hey, hey, rude! Oh god, that hurts! <laughs> it hurts the flesh! 200 damage. I need to have Q cast Golem. And move out over here. Ramza, it's all as you've said. Dysodark enkindled this war and slew the Duke, all to feed his own ambition. He has sullied our name, brought scorn upon our house. He must be made to pay. He shall, Lord Brother. <laughs> Shank. I'm concerned that those knights might be planning. Oh, I thought those knights were on his side. Oh, oops. Oops. Salvag, you're a little surrounded. I hope that's okay. I hope that's fine. Now, he can aim at us down here with his holy sword. Can we aim up at him? We can. Fantastic. 108... Yep, that nah, won't hit. Allo bolt it is. Uh, I will aim it right. Right. No, 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 move. Right there. Do it! 108 damage. Didn't silence him, though. Golem! Reyes is in just a world of pain right now. Luckily, she has auto race or re race items. Next potion. Hopefully, that'll help some. It's more like right there. Yeah, so that all of us can't be aimed at at once. Move to this way and hopefully can shoot Dysodarg. Yeah, there we go. Not a lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. You fools! Why will you not follow where I lead? Why do you turn against me? The powerful must rule the weak. It is our duty. The crown once held such power, but no more. See how fate has brought it low? Why would we not... Why should we not rule in its stead? We must wield our power and seize the reins of Evilis. Why will you not see this? You feast on power, brother, but leave no place at table for justice. The name Beolv befits brave men who raise their swords in justice's name. You are no Beolv. Justice? I die of shame to hear the word from my own lips. Such lofty ideals cannot rule a people so common. Who has earned you the right to wield your swords of justice, to be hailed as a hero? Is it not I, I who have dirtied my hands to keep yours clean? All that you are, you owe to me. You ought be on your knees thanking me, yet here you stand in judgment? Oh, good! Yes! <laughs> okay, good! You've ruined... Uh, everything. Ivalis was to be... To be ours. You fools. What have you done? Adrimelech the Wrath. So this is what it is to be a god. Th 
fool of a brother. Heed well these words that last your ears shall hear. Slain by my hand, our father, Barbaneth. This war has brought our house its chance to rule. We, he would but watch as history passed us by. His due I granted him, no more, no less. No sword yet wrought can parry poison's kiss. And so on you, Ramza, my gaze alights. Now no regret, a traitor's recompense. Objective, defeat Adremelech, the Roth. Uh, I need to make sure this is going to go off before he gets a chance to move. Um, how about Fairy? Fairy will also get a chance to go off before he moves, so... Fairy on Ramza. Hopefully get him some health. And we are moving the F out of the way. <laughs> Bolt? I don't know if I can reach him from where he's at now. We can! Good. 108 damage. There we go. Okay, and then we need to move... ...carefully. I basically need to keep everybody away from everybody else so that nobody gets caught in a blast and gets killed. <laughs> but it also means people are going to be too far away to help each other if I'm not careful. Hopefully his attack won't kill either of them outright if he manages or decides to attack them. I think he might go after Ramza though. Daylight. <laughs> heal, Ramza, heal. Be at full health, please. Okay, um, up, but can't hit him from here. Okay, um, we'll just shout then. Um, I guess his jump isn't good enough to get up that side. But right. Right here. Kind of puts that at an awkward angle for uh, a Dremelec to target him. 291! That will definitely kill her. <laughs> it is definitely, totally going to kill her. That's fine, she has re-raise. I'm more concerned about Mustadio dying. That would almost kill her at full health. 180. Uh. 180. 180. I know in Final Fantasy XII, Adrenalek is. Electric? Lightning? Thunder? Whatever the term they want to use is. I don't know. We're just gonna breathe ice on him. All the ice. Hope that's fine. Holy. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, when her turn comes back up, hopefully she'll get back up. Sword. No, I don't need to know when it's going to hit. Just that I can hit him. Another 180. Seems to be a common theme for the amount of- no, oh, ooh, she critted. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know if Mustadio could survive... <laughs> a... There's no use in using X potion, use a high potion. I don't know if Mustadio could survive a holy. 
That is 299 health. Um, I think he'll still be out of range. Yeah, he is. We'll just meddle. We'll just shout again. A little teensy bit faster. Okay. Well, apparently, Adrenalik is using Holy in this fight. Just wait. Your turn will come up a little faster. Oh, thank God. Golem. <laughs> and she's awake. No. Right there. You have two blocks you can use to attack him from. Use all of them. 80, right in the side of the head, delicious. You're going to move next to her, and you're going to heal her. X potion on Reyes. I'll have Q recast Golem so that we have that defense again. And I'll just have everybody else slowly wail on him. There we go. Poor Dysodarg. This is turned into a Dremelec. The Wrath. The Angry. For such a subtle man, he is... Well, perhaps not as uh, blunt as Bellius, but still a pretty to-the-point kind of guy. 90. Does Halibut do more? No, 180. Fine, Ruination it is. Okay. You don't need to move. Because Golem will hit everybody regardless of where you're standing. Oh no! Oh no! Excuse me, sir. That was quite rude. Don't make me chase you. I only need to move two forward. Two to be able to hit him from here. Hundred and ten. Shot you in the face. Hope that's okay. Don't really care if it's not. Ugh, I'm grouping the three of them up. Ugh, it's really dangerous. Get another X potion down her throat. <laughs> Be okay. Say please. The bottom. Dragon. Ice breath. And hit a Dremelec. 180. My god, he has a ridiculous amount of health. Actually, let's get beside him. Instead of in front of him. That should give Divine Ruination a higher chance to hit. Yep. 190. We got him! Okay. Poor Q got stoned, though. Too soon this mortal coil did I assume. Angel of blood, High Seraph, come too late. Ah. 
House Beowulf is no more. But what does it matter? We are the sum of our deeds, not our names. Alma. I will find you, Alma. Yay, we won! Our brothers are dead, our sister is missing. Victory! Sorta. Kinda. But not really. Yay. Well. Why do we even know to go there? Nobody told us. Whatever. Okay, so that'll be the end of that. So you've seen Reyes, and we went to the next story mission. So next time, we'll probably head to Mulland. Uh, so like, leave a comment, subscribe, the whole thing you hear at the end of every my YouTube videos, at the very least. And be super grateful. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Rana Strait. Long ago, a trading ship known as the Enterprise fell victim to the violent waters of the Rana Strait and sunk to the bottom of the sea, taking its valuable cargo with it. I have a good idea of where she sank. Anyone interested might want to try their hand at salvaging her goods. Zeltania Tavernmaster. Reports Rana Strait. We departed Zeltania Castle in high spirits. Our goal was to raise the Enterprise, a foundered trade vessel. The stars were with us, as they always are. The shoals that had claimed it were treacherous. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goals. It was not long before the sea yielded up to us her bounty. There was ample cargo to be found within the ship's hold. Yes, but, but what? What did we find? A sword. What kind of sword? Excalipor. We found Excalipor. Poor. Excalibur is uh, Gilgamesh's like signature sword. He's always looking for Excalibur, and always instead usually has Excalibur with him instead, because he'll think he's found it, and it turns out it ha he hasn't. Errands, dredge work. Now hiring divers. Make your fortune fast while doing enjoyable work. Zeltinia Salvagers Guild. Reports. Dredge work. We departed Zeltinia Castle in high spirits, our task to serve as divers for the Zeltinia Salvagers Guild. The stars were with us from the outset. The task required great strength of arm. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. It was not long before the sea yielded up to us her bounty. There was ample cargo to be found within the ship's hold. One large chest stood out amongst all the others. Breaking it open, we peered within. Inside was money. Just money? That's it? We don't get any artifacts? Ugh, that's fine, I guess. Errands. Zero strikes. I recently received the following note. Please put a halt to this man's plans. Baron Barthundra. My dear Baron Barthundra, I will soon be coming for your precious valuables. Zero. Reports. Zero strikes. We departed Saltinia Castle in high spirits. Our goal was to capture Zero, a master thief. The stars were with us from the outset. Our foe was a worthy one. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. Eventually, we emerged victorious. After the battle, we began to ready our packs for the road. One of our party uncovered a large treasure chest. We quickly examined the contents. Before us lay us just a feather. That is a feather. What kind of feather is that? Zen motto. Oh, it wasn't a feather. That was a katana. Okay. Zenma. Okay, well that's just a giant katana. Errands. Missing boy. Someone please look for my darling son. He disappeared several days ago. He was wearing a yellow hat, blue breeches, and a red doublet. Lady Vitz, proprietress of the Wayfarer's Lodge. Reports. Missing boy. We departed Zeltania Castle in high spirits. Our task to retrieve a missing boy. Took us 16 days to do it as well. There was very little information for us to work with, unless we remained committed to our goal. We soon discovered that no such child existed. We then began making preparations for the journey home. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Find my missing child, please. Uh, ma'am, you... you don't have a child. Oh, you're correct! Here's 12,000 gil! Thank you! What? 
<laughs> what? Okay, I think the game just broke me for a second. I have to take a break. Oh my god. Errands. Nightwalker. A strange figure has been seen prowling the city streets at night. Please investigate and set our minds at ease. Zeltinia resident. Reports. Nightwalker. We departed Zeltina Castle in High Spirits, our task to bring to light the suspicious figure. The stars were with us from the outset. After the sunset, the city streets hide many dangers. Nonetheless, we remain committed to our goal. Our investigation, uh, investigation finally came to a close. Afterwards, we readied ourselves for the road. Upon our return, we were given a gift in gratitude. Eagerly, we looked to see what our efforts had earned us. It was a handsome reward in Gil. Our fortune could not have been greater. Did you actually identify the mysterious figure? They just gave you 10,000 gil. Okay, whatever. Errands. Appraisal. It has recently come to my attention that one of my house's heirlooms may in fact be a forgery. It has been passed down through my family for generations, so this naturally comes as quite a shock. Please determine whether it is genuine. Viscount Le Shale. It's pretty cheap. Um... Reports. Appraisal. We departed Zeltinia Castle in high spirits. Our task to determine the authenticity of a family heirloom. The, t the t Okay, I'm sure they were. Nonetheless, we remain committed to our goal. The exact value of the jewels we then made ready to return. Oh, so you're not going to tell us whether or not it, they were... Ooh. You're not going to tell us whether or not it was actually authentic. It's like, well, we determined what the value of the, the jewels were. We got a black cat. I don't know what that's a reference to. I'll be honest. Ugh, still didn't level up. Damn it! Give me a new treasure hunter value or a new adventurer level. Errands. Memories. Please deliver my son's favorite food to him on the outskirts of Dorder. He always has chocobo paprikish on his birthday, but these old bones of mine are too weak to take it to him. Old Blanche. Reports. Memories. We departed Salgidos in High Spirits, our task to make a special delivery to our client's son. The stars were with us from the outset. Many a fiend dwelt in the wilderness we were made to cross. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. As a result, we were able to find what we sought. We then began making preparations for the journey home. Upon our return, we were given a gift in gratitude. Eagerly, we looked to see what our efforts had earned us. It was a prize most generous. Our fortune could not have been greater. I pray all our missions meet with such success. Did you give us a, what, 900% increase? Because we paid 100. Almost, almost 1,000% increase on the money we spent. Errands. Death's Gorge. Legend has it that in Death's Gorge, there lies the hulking corpse of a demon slain in a battle with a god. Over the eons, it has turned to stone and might conceal unknown mineral riches. Investigate it if you dare. Lombell. Reports. Death's Gorge. Yes. We departed Salgidos and High Spirits, our task to uncover prized ore in Death's Gorge. The stars were with us from the outset, because they always are. We have a rich vein. We told endless extra a great deal of ore. Among our finds was a large, peculiar rock. In it were nuggets of ore with value beyond compare. Did we, did we get an item, or was it just money? Yeah, it's just money. Errands, the Typhoon. I have considerable information on a wanted criminal named Bevister Typhoon Karst. Karst has been spotted in town and has a sizable bounty on his head. Keep an eye out for him. Pollen. Reports, the Typhoon. Yes. We departed Salgidos in high spirits. Our task to defeat Typhoon Karts. The stars were within the outset because they always are. Our foe was a worthy one. Nevertheless, we remain committed to our goal. Eventually, we emerged victorious, we then left, we found a treasure chest, we looked in a treasure chest, and it was filled with bags of money. <laughs> I pray all our missions meet with su success. I bet you do. That is a lot of money. Errands. Beastly Trail. I've received a report that someone has discovered a strange new type of plant in the Germanus woods. I would dearly love to obtain a sample, but... Alas, the woods are home to all manner of monsters. Please go and find a sample of this plant in my stead. Wendell the Botanist. Reports. Beastly Trail. 
Yes. We departed Salgitos and High Spirits, our task to send the sample of rare plant, because the stars were with us on the outside, because they always are. The area is not only home to many monsters, but also battered by high winds. Nonetheless, we remain committed to our goal. We quickly obtained the required sample. We then delivered the sample to our overjoyed client. For our return, we gave a gift in gratitude. What did it get us? Money. It just got us money. Less money than we spent to even go on this mission. Rude, I've lost money going on these errands. Errands. Lake Poskis Depths. While fishing on Lake Poskis, I noticed something on the lake bed that appeared to be the remains of a structure. Could they be ruins? Anyone with a passing interest should look into the matter. Keo the Fisherman. Reports. Lake Poskis Depths. We departed Limbury Castle and High Spirits are tasked to explore Lake Poskis. The stars were with us from the outset. We soon met with craggy terrain. Nonetheless, we remained committed to our goal. As a result, we were able to find what we sought. We forded streams and cut our way through reed and rush. After a time, the air about us seemed to change. We pressed ever onward. At last, our eyes fell upon a wonder of the ancient world. Our fortune could not have been greater. Where is it? What is it? Tower of Babel. Is it like a, a real world reference? Because I don't recall a Tower of Babel in, in any of the Final Fantasies. I could be misremembering, though. Mm. Well, mm, I don't remember. It's Zot, the Tower of Zot. I was thinking of the tower in Final Fantasy IV. In three, there's the Crystal Tower. And in two, they have Pandemonia. Six doesn't really have a Tower of Babel. Neither the seven or eight or nine. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's just a real world reference. Okay. We leveled! Aaron's Cellar Dungeon. While excavating a new cellar for my estate, I happened upon a most unpleasant looking dungeon. No doubt a relic from an earlier time. The thought of what might be down there bars me from sleep at night. Please investigate. Marky Collins. Reports. Cellar Dungeon. We departed Limberry Castle in high spirits our task to investigate a mysterious dungeon. The stars were, as always, with us. And we found... Oh, it was a maze. So to change, we pressed ever onward. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What? No, what? <laughs> so, Marky, whatever his name was, hired us to go into his cellar because he thought something was living there. And what instead we find is the Fortress of Trials. Because of course we did. Why wouldn't we? Errands. Uninvited guests. An old house, long thought abandoned, now shows signs of human, or inhuman, presence. Please investigate, as it is causing a stir amongst the townspeople. Limberry Resident. Reports. Uninvited guests. We departed Limberry Castle and High Spirits are tasked to investigate an abandoned house. The stars were with us from the outset. There was very little information for us to work with. Nonetheless, we remain committed to our goal. Our investi eh, investigation finally came to a close afterwards. We readied ourselves for the woods. Just, just tell me what we got. Okay, so we got the best reward. Our fortune could not have been greater. It's a ton of money. Ah, uh, thanks.